Hi guys, hi from Andre Unger. Today I would like to discuss about uh, a topic that uh, often comes, uh, comes up with questions. And the question is, uh, fine, uh, but how do I find an edge? Edge with no edge. Edge as advantage. An edge in, in a trading system. So how do I get the idea on how to develop a trading system? So apart from uh, uh, waking up uh, in the middle of a stormy night <laughs> and say, oh, I got it, oh, it's not this. Simply, you have to follow a procedure, a method, a method of development of systems. You have to decide what kind of system you want. And that's it. Once you decided the type of system, then you start exploring the results that you obtain applying a basic model to a market. An example, let's say you decide you want to trade a trend following, breakout trend following strategy on, let's say, a DAX future. Well, now you decide to place breakout orders and we imagine to be willing to do this on an intraday basis. On an intraday basis, uh, you are not starting to trade at the very beginning of the day. You normally wait for a couple of hours or even more so that the market calms down after uh, the open. And uh, so you have to place your breakout orders after a certain time of the day. Where? At what levels? To be effective on the concept of trend following breakout of an important level, the levels have to be significant. And significant levels can be, this is not the only way, but can be high and low of the day so far, which means the high and the low of the day in the day I'm deciding to trade. The highest high reached from the open of the market to the moment I'm placing the trade and to go short, the lowest low. So we place the orders at these two levels and the other condition could be to close the trade at the end of the day, if this is the idea. Or we can go overnight with other conditions. But let's imagine we close the trade at the end of the day. We do this and we will see some results. Based on the results, if they are positive, we have something to work on, we can then go on in exploring how the market reacts to our inputs. First of all, I said, let's wait for a couple of hours, maybe two hours. What if I wait more or less before placing my orders? Well, we decide to use an input for a time of the day after what we decide to place the trades. And we play with this input. What if I place trades after nine o'clock, after 10, after 11, after 12? And looking at the results I obtain, I decide which time of the day best suits my expectations. Maybe 12 o'clock is better rather than 10. We sleep more. It's fine. So actually, I got these results. And then I add a stop loss, of course, because I don't want to be in a situation where the market completely changes its direction and kills my trade and my account. Might be I want to place a take profit. Normally, on this kind of strategies, trend following, we should not use a take profit because it would kill the concept of following because we stop a trade. But you are free to do it. And I said the exit of I have my system now. I have a system. We decide when to start a trade, where to enter, and when to close the trade. Either at the end of the day, or we stop, or eventual profit. I can also decide that after a certain time of the day, my entry conditions are no longer effective. Perfect. I use another input. Time of the day after this time, I cancel my orders if they have not yet been filled. What time of the day best? Again, I optimize to explore the results. 3 o'clock, p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and then see when the results show a better outcome so that I decide, okay, after 5 p.m., there is no reason to keep the orders live because all the orders triggered after five do not show 
a decent profit uh, so that they are not worth being considered because uh, I pay more in commissions, for example, cons uh, compared to the gain that I'm, I'm making. This is a system. The only decision I made really is the model I wanted, trend following. I could des have decided to trade a counter trend system. So instead of buying breakouts of high and low, I could do the very same thing buying the low of the day and selling the high of the day. Obviously, depending on the market or some other conditions, the results would deeply change. But again, I start from the concept. I build the basic model and then I elaborate it. We have now discussed about time of day, stop and profit, but obviously there is all a process to go through where we also go and look into filters, when to trade and when not to trade. This is an open world. But following a proper procedure on how to develop trading systems, believe me, you can build trading systems that may be really nice and performing. Always be careful not to overfit. So it means not to put too many conditions into a system. This is again another, another topic that maybe we will be discussing in another video. So no need to wake up in the middle of the night because of a thunder or on some other <laughs> reasons, you have just to sit down and apply a proven methodology to develop systems. That's it, to get something that might work and please you in the live results. That's it for today. Ciao from Andrea Unger. Keep in touch. Enjoy it? Click the link below and you will be noticed as soon as new material is available.